Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Today I'm going to show you the different ways you can apply delay throws to audio in Studio One. Now, the traditional way, the way that we've done it before, is if I copy a delay, say here, straight over onto my sends, you'll see that it's created this effects track down here. Now, what I'm going to do is to go back to the part that I want. Now I can turn that off and let's let's turn that down a bit. And I'm going to put it in touch mode up here. Now let's play the audio. And as you can see, it's putting the automation points here. Now let's listen back to that. If I solo that. It's just put that in there. Let me turn it up a bit so you can hear that a bit louder. I'll exaggerate it. And what I'm going to do as well is turn the mix up full there as well. Hear that again? Now, there's another way of doing that. So let's, uh, let's remove this. Let's take it out of solo. What I'm going to do is to hold down the Alt key and drag over onto the track. So what I'm going to do there, let's uh, let's set that up first. Let's take it out of automation mode. And I'm going to put a cut on the audio where I want the delay throw to appear. Let's have a look. So I want to put it about there. So let's highlight the region with our new smart tool. We can double click up here and it will cut this up. Now, what I'm going to do is to hold down Echo Boy Let's expand that and let's uh, let's open up this this patch here. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag that straight onto that region. Now, if you come down here, look at my event effects. See, I've got Melodyne and also Echo Boy. Now, if I go back to this region here or this event here, I should say, Echo Boy is not on there, but it's on this version. So again, let's exaggerate that a bit there. And as you can hear, the delay throw is just applied to that part of the region. Now I can do this anywhere I want. So for instance, uh, let's go to the chorus. So let's put a delay throw there and just uh, for argument's sake, let's just put the same patch there. Copy that onto that region. Here again. And as you can hear, it's on that region as well. Now let me just open that up again. And let's exaggerate that again because I need it a little bit louder. So very few doors can actually do this, uh, do this function. Pro Tools can do it, but Studio One does it, in my mind, in a much more streamlined way. So I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.